Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A two-day video lecture. We start with uh, problem set 14.1, and uh, the first question is uh, find the path and sketch it. And complex function are given. Our z uh, uh, is function of t is equal to uh, one plus one over four iota t, and uh, the range uh, or domain of parameter is one to six. Uh, t started from 1 and ended at 6 so first we write z of t in general notation separate the real part and complex part so z of t is equal to this is equal to t plus t by 4 iota so we write this z of t is equal to t plus by 4 iota okay and uh, uh, we know that z is equal to x plus iota why this is the uh, this is general definition of complex number uh, so if we also write this in the parametric form z of t is equal to x of t plus iota y of t so uh, This is our equation number one, and this is our equation number two. And uh, comparing one and two, comparing equation a uh, one and two, we get so this is equal to x of t is equal to t, and uh, y of t is equal to t over four. So x of t is equal to t and y of t is equal to t over four. So <coughs> we know that t start from one and ended at six. So uh, we first write the starting point. Starting point. So starting point is t is equal to one. So x of uh, one is equal to one and uh, y of one is equal to one over four. So it's mean uh, the starting point is one and one over four. Value of uh, x at one is one, and value of y at one is equal to one over four. So ending point, ending point of our curve is uh, the ending point is a uh, six. So t is equal to six. So we write x of six is equal to six. And uh, y of six is equal to six over four, and this is equal to three over two. So ending point is is at uh, at t is equal to six. The value of x is six, and the value of y is a uh, three by two. So uh, uh, <coughs> this is the starting and ending point of uh, our curve. Now we sketch the curve. So the next step is we. Catch the curve. So uh, first we draw the a uh, first we draw the a uh, complex plane. So we draw this is our x axis. This is our x positive, x negative, and this is our origin, and uh, this is our uh, iota y. And this is x, and this is a uh, y axis, and this is our origin. So uh, y is equal to t over four. Uh, so we draw the curve. Uh, so y is equal to, and t is equal to x. X of t is equal to t. T is equal to x. So we write y is equal to x over four. So we draw uh, this curve. Y is equal to x over four, and uh, this is the equation of straight line. And we know that the general form of equation of straight line is y is equal to m x plus c. M is the slope, c is the y intercept. In here, y intercept is zero, so our curve passing through the origin, and uh, slope is positive or negative. Slope is one by four. M is equal to one over four. Slope is positive, so we draw the positive slope. so our curve is a uh, basically a uh, passing through the origin with the positive slope so our curve is this this is uh, our curve 
with the positive slope if the slope is negative then we uh, passing the curve in uh, second and fourth quadrant so uh, we mentioned the starting and ending point here uh, x1 and y is equal to 1 over 4 so we simply draw this is your 1 and this is your 1 over 4 so this is the point uh, this is 1 and this is 1 over 4 so this is the point uh, 1 1 over 4 and at x is equal to 6 uh, y is equal to 3 by 2 so let's suppose this is 3 by 2 this is 6 6 and this is your okay we put here 6 so this is your point so uh, this is the this is our curve uh, this is our curve Uh, this is our path uh, and we sketch it uh, because uh, uh, we are bounded uh, with, within this domain t1 to 6. So uh, uh, using this parameter we highlight the our path. So th this is our final path uh, and this is equal to a z of t is equal to 1 plus 1 over 4 iota t where t a is equal greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to 6. A problem set 14.1 so again uh, we first uh, write uh, uh, this z, uh, z of t into x plus iota y so uh, we first separate the uh, real and imaginary parts so 3 plus iota plus t minus iota t so this is equal to 3 plus t plus we take the iota common here and this is equal to 1 minus iota and 0 less than equal to t less than equal to 3 this is z of t and this is our equation number 1 uh, now we write the general form of z of t and we know that z of t is equal to x of t plus uh, iota y of uh, t and uh, comparing and comparing This is our equation number 2, comparing equation 1 and 2, we get, so we get x of t is equal to 3 plus t and y of t is equal to 1 minus t. So uh, t is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 3 and uh, the starting point of our path is starting point, so we find the starting point of our path at t0 at t0 so at t0 x of 0 is equal to 3 and uh, at t0 y of is equal to 1 minus 0 and uh, yes this is 1 so at t is equal to 0 uh, x is 3 and y is uh, 1 now ending point now ending point so at t is equal to 3. So at t is equal to 3. Uh, x of 3 is uh, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. And uh, y of 3 is equal to 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2. So its mean ending point is 6 and uh, minus 2. So uh, now th this is our uh, starting uh, point of the path and this is our uh, ending point of the path. Uh, now we calculate or find the uh, general path. So uh, we write y is equal to uh, 1 minus t. We remove the parameter here then we get the uh, original function in term of x and y. So from here from x we write x minus 3 is equal to t and put here so y is equal to 1 minus t and t is equal to x minus 3 so this is equal to 1 minus x plus 3 and this y is equal to minus x plus 4 so this is the general equation of the uh, general equation uh, this is the linear equation uh, with y intercept 4 in here c is y intercept 4 and uh, slope is uh, slope is negative and this is minus 1 so we sketch uh, the graph of this function uh, yes we sketch the graph so we write this is your x axis this is your y axis or iota y axis and this is your x axis this is imaginary axis 
and this is a, a real axis is x negative and this is y negative and this is y positive sorry this is y positive so uh, from here we see that our uh, path uh, passing through the y intercept with negative slope so uh, in negative slope we draw the slope here so let's suppose this is 0.4 and this is y intercept and slope is negative so our uh, uh, path is like this we draw this uh, due to negative slope okay so this is our path now we find the starting and ending point in here so starting point is a uh, 3 and 1 so when x is 3 y is 1 so let's suppose this is a uh, x3 and this is y uh, this is x3 and this is y1 so let's suppose this is your a uh, uh, 3 and 1 point this is your 3 and uh, 1 point. This point is 3 and uh, uh, 1. Okay. Now, uh, we ending point is at x uh, 6, uh, y is minus 2. So, x is like 6 here. This is x is 6 and this is like y it is minus 2. So, let's suppose this is, is your point and this is 6 minus uh, 2. So, it means uh, this is the path. This is the path. So, this is our path. Yeah. This line is path. Uh, this line is uh, a path of uh, uh, our uh, z of t uh, bounding between t zero and uh, three. So now we go to a uh, next question, and that is question number three. Thank you. Z of t is equal to t plus four t square iota, and t is uh, between zero and uh, one. So this is uh, in here region and imaginary parts are separate. So uh, this is our equation number one, and uh, z of t is also is equal to x of t plus iota y of uh, t. So this is equation two. So comparing one and two, comparing one and two, we get okay. So x of t is equal to t, and uh, y of t is equal to four t square. So, uh, a starting point is, starting point of our path is uh, at t is equal to 0. So, x of 0 is equal to 0 and y of 0 is equal to 0. So, starting point is a 0 and a 0. And ending point is, ending point of our path is uh, at t is equal to 1. So, this is equal to x of 1 is equal to 1 and y of 1 is equal to 4. So, simple 1 and 4 is a very ending point. So, uh, uh, we uh, eliminate the t here. Basically, t is parameter and we if we eliminate the t, then we get the uh, equation of our path. So, this is so simple y is equal to 4 t square and in here t is equal to x so this is equal to y is equal to 4 x square and we know that this is the equation of a parabola this is equation of a parabola now we sketch uh, the this parabola so this is so simple this is not shifted a uh, parabola this is simple parabola so this is your x this is x prime this is y iota y or this is minus iota y or iota y prime so uh, uh, the parabola passing through the point zero zero so this is our origin so this is our uh, parabola uh, this is not uh, so good geometry but this is like this parabola so this is parabola and this is the point zero zero and uh, let's suppose this is x is equal to one and this is y is equal to four and this is your point one and uh, four so this is the geometry of uh, uh, this is our path starting from zero zero and ending at uh, one four so this this shaded is our path